Welcome to the finale, everyone. Happy Halloween! Hope you guys are uh, rotting your teeth with some candy. We uh, could not plan this any better. Well, we did our damnedest to get through this game. If you hadn't spent a whole episode on uh, uh, Laura, Laura, we wouldn't be here. Yeah, that's true. Julie, <laughs> what the fuck? Julie's a coworker I have. Hmm. She talks really loud. Oh, okay. She 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 can't sneak up on you. <sighs> The rain feels good on my face. <laughs> okay. Goodbye. It's time for He the just looks royale. back at you. Jesus is the bread. Uh <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Leslie. Yep. To the beacon, I guess. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? Jesus is the bread. Look around the courtyard for a couple items and some green gel. Then enter the building. Okay, courtyard for some items and green gel. So far, nothing on this side. I did find the green gel back there, so maybe that's what it meant. Hmm. Wish it was more specific with the items, but maybe they're random. Maybe. Could be. Hello. I have one scrap. Okay. Here we go. Make sure everything's loaded. Okay. Turning back now. Save room? Save room. My man. What's in there, though? Nothing. Nothing. That crazy guy you've been talking to the entire game? Oh, yeah, okay, that y makes you. sense. <laughs> what if I'm just a voice in Sebastian's head? Hmm. What do you think about that? The yeah. save room. What do you think about that? The save room. Mm. Take a seat. Why don't you just take a seat? Will it let me? Oh, good. Why don't you take a seat, detective? Hmm. Matches. Why not? That's all we can do now. So, time to save. Battle Royale.
That's the doctor. Yeah. Watch out for his eye. What? If you want to live, you avoid Ruvik's eye. Watch out for his eye. What's that supposed to mean? You'll see. Rest in peace. Not gonna be my problem anymore. <laughs> yep. See you later, guy. Hmm. So basically, the battle royale mm -hmm. is just unload. Okay. There is a, uh, at some point, a big guy will spawn who has a rocket launcher. Fucking run. Because he'll use it, and then he'll pick up a uh, chainsaw. He's the one you should use a, uh, a magnum for, but we don't have any magnum ammo. Not my lantern. Just fucking warned you, Sebastian. So there's no conserving ammo in this part. Just we have to kill a certain amount of enemies, or uh, You will be drawn into a strange area. The new zone is going to be an enemy battle royale. Countless foes will start spawning and rushing you. You have very little reason to hold back. Start blasting them with all you have. Save your magnum and harpoon bullets for now, but everything else is fair game. Make sure you run around the arena. Don't just stand still. Some enemies have guns, You want you don't, and, but most will rush you. So keep your distance. Rifles good with headshots or one-hit kills. Shotgun works wonders when they group up. After killing so many, Ruvik clones will join the fray. Make sure to prioritize them, killing them as soon as you can. Finally, a giant man will enter with a rocket launcher. Start running. Make sure you get behind cover ASAP, preferably very far away from where he walked in, as it's best to avoid the rocket. Once he shoots it, he'll pick up a chainsaw and chase you. Now blast him down as fast as you can. After killing him... And the last of the enemies climb up to the area where the chainsaw walked in, and that's the exit. Enter this next area, and more bad guys will assault you. Hide behind cover and pick your shots to eliminate the snipers, dynamite throwers. You can launch an explosive bolt of your own. Try tossing a grenade up there. Once clear, head up the path and through the next door. Safe head fight. I haven't even read the safe head part. Sniper. Oh, 
Oh, Jesus. <laughs> you just push you off? No, I jumped. That looked like it looked like you didn't even you didn't move, he pushed you. Listen, punk. Broke his shoulder. Yes, that's the big guy. No, you uh, got the, the, the Rubik clones first. Uh, At least they're not giving you like one or two bullets. I feel like they're dropping down on you from where you're at. Look at the bottom of the screen. Yeah, it's uh, it's not happy. I don't think you're supposed to do this without the letterbox. <laughs> Fucking excuse me. See that one. The fuck are they going? Oh, hey. I think that guy gave up. Sniper rifle? Looking around like, who the fuck did that? Round three just started. Find you. Another syringe.
Okay, so I can't trip them anymore. Can you? Could you have ever tripped the big guys? Yeah, by shooting their kneecaps. Maybe a detonation arrow? Or a flash would, would shock them for a minute. Yeah. There he is. Okay, so run. Yeah, run and hide. He's only got one shot. Just make sure he doesn't tag you. Back this back, please. Thank you. He's got. He missed. He's got his chainsaw out. Now unload on him. He is most likely a one hit. I didn't know you could jump over those. I didn't either. A sh use a flash and see if you can get any sneak kills on it. That way you can uh, conserve a little bit of ammo. I get what you're doing. Got two at least. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Torch. Is there any more bullets behind you on the or on the left now? I remember there was like a stack of ten pistol rounds. I think I grabbed those while I was going. No, there were two. One was on the right, one was on the left. Hmm. A bottle. So it's on the right now where you're at. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm yeah, it was up around there. Was Which yo, all things considered, you you didn't unload everything. Yeah. I still got all of these to use on this fucker. That Get all my rifle bullets and one shotgun. Well, the shotgun we could have done. Oh, there it is. There we go. Even better. I think there's a, a brain juice in the in the uh, blood down there, but there probably is somewhere. I thought I had grabbed it, but it's probably in here somewhere. There it is. A 
Hey, yo, without being caught off guard by this shit, you did all right. Imagine the guy walking in with a rocket launcher and you hit him with a rocket launcher like Uno reverse card. <laughs> now, anything up here? Because I don't think you had time to explore up here. No, it doesn't look like there's anything like... Oh, there's uh, things in the ground, which means that was blocked off anyway. Yeah. Are you doing anything tomorrow? Just doing the... Um the trailer tomorrow right i'm doing everything for the the pre war of the wings stuff this looks bad all right let's see what's in this room after killing him in the last group cover pick the shot oh this is you got to go through there's uh more guys to pick off snipers and dynamite throwers yep Mm. Ooh. Check your left and right. I don't know where all they spawn, to be honest. Where do I? I think I still have one more sniper at least. Yep. God, they give you pistol ammo here. Could you imagine trying to get this guy with a pistol? No thanks. So sniper guys are down. Well, the thing's open, so it must mean you got them all. Maybe it's the uh, dynamite throwers next. Ooh, more bullets. Love this. I love the I love them giving more ammo back. Yeah. Tune up. Get up in here. I think you had two snipers and two gren uh, grenadiers. Oh, okay. And I think that was it. Good. Now you have the safe head fight. But that's the final boss, right? Nope. There's one more guy we never fought. We... Oh, so a new boss. We've we've never fought him. He's been in. The, he's been. We've seen him throughout the entire game. We've never fought him. Okay, you can just say that when we fight Rubik. Yeah. I'm just saying, we never fought him. Yeah. We fought clones. Through the door, down the hall, through the next door is a room tinted in blue. As you explore the area, you might note that there are some safe heads lying around, as well as several traps and bombs. Don't disarm the bombs, as you can, you can use them in a moment. When you try to exit the area, you'll see two safe heads come to life. You will have very few options available here. If you are short on ammo, you can lure the safe heads through the traps past the bombs. However, if you have a few parts left of your cross left for your crossbow, we suggest you freeze them, then pelt them with harpoon bolts and magnum rounds. They will fall quickly to this, especially if you have upgraded either weapon's damage. Once dead, head through the door. Ruvik will appear, the, it will alter the area, 
You will now make your way past the pillars without being seen by the light. If it does see you, you'll be warped back to the start. It's, 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 it's fucking Scarecrow. <laughs> Keep the bombs just in case we can lure them into it. Yeah, but they're not going to explode on them. I'd have to get over here, and line up a it. shot, and shoot it. So no. Or you could, yeah, you could just take them apart and have some parts for more freeze rounds. Yeah. I actually just made three. You could still have some just, just in case. Yeah. Like, say say one misses. Oh shit! Can make one up real quick. <laughs> so after this, it's talking about the scarecrow part. It's literally. Uh, wire will need to be carefully walked around. Don't try to disarm the bombs. The blue window timing is the blue timing window is much smaller than usual. It's literally this much. Oh, okay. Oh, there's a save room between now and Ruvik. Oh, good. Between after safe heads and Ruvik. Which, you know, that also explains why it's safe heads, not with the with the apostrophe. Safe heads fight. Mm hmm Which also, um uh, Silent Hill two. You fight two pyramid heads at the end. Oh, near the yeah. end. So again, boy he's trying to be pyramid head. Watch him. It's adorable. He's trying so hard. There goes a the train. So. It's train time. Coal train, baby! I want to play Gears of War. Get ready for the Gears of War. Let's go, boys. get stopped by your own trap right idiot Didn't unload nine bullets and nine handgun bullets, so he's got a little bit left on him. Get camera game, please. Thank you. You can't run in the water, can you? Nope. And he's down. That was much easier than I thought it would be. Yep. Oops, I just punched the microphone. Like, mm. full-on punch. It is. I 
good amount. Grab what we can grab. That's pretty much it. That's all I really got. I used up everything else. Nine more sniper rounds, though. That's mm -hmm. pretty good. That, you're still doing all right, I think. Like, we could be in a much worse position. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, oh. I haven't even used the grenades yet. I got four grenades. Okay. Ruvik. I created this world. You cannot keep me here. So I do what again now? Stay out of the spotlights? Uh, yeah. Way wheelchair. There will be uh, my uh, tripwire and dynamite, so be careful. Oh, you made it to a checkpoint. Yeah, I did. Just wanted to try it. No, I was trying to get it. Set the bomb, please. Okay. I forgot about the the spot spotlight. Also. Well, you can get another shot at the thing. Be real good to get some more scrap real quick. No, I just need to remember that it's there. <laughs> so I don't think there's anything that I can actually make with what I... Oh, well. I mean, you can get two shock bolts, right? Yeah. It'd be great to have some explosive, but you only get two from that, and you need three for the explosive anyway. Yeah. What? How the fuck do you get past it? We're gonna be here for an hour. <laughs> well, it's, it is the finale.
What? The fucking rifle tripped it. Your distant save room music. It's okay. Once we're done, it can never hurt you again. Where? Can you trigger them with a bullet? I've been thinking about that too. But I doubt it. I doubt it also. Because if the explosion from the, the bomb doesn't trigger them, then the fucking bullet isn't. I didn't even touch it. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Rubik's last cheat.
Oh. I think she got a checkpoint. Yeah. Go on in, there's nothing to pick up outside. Here's your save room. Typewriter in the room to the right. No more upgrades. Looks like it. When you regain control of Seb, you need to start running. You will need to dodge his hands first. Dodge left, wait for it to pass, then keep running. Hug, no hug the next right, then finally left again until you climb into another building. We'll probably go we'll go over that once we get to where it's at. The elevator's apparently a long ride. Oh, okay. We gotta load in the boss fight bullshit. <laughs> Look at the anti-aliasing around the the uh, butt of your crossbow. Did you see it like glitching out against the green in the background? Mm -hmm. I don't even know if that's anti-aliasing. Oh, that's a shotgun, not the crossbow. Sebastian, get away from him. Sebastian, listen to me. Stop. Your interests are the same as ours. Look, I get it. You're not just some rookie detective, and this is not just some ordinary kid. You killed Joseph, and you shot me. Oh, yes, Joseph did so that. So right at this moment, that's enough well. reason for me not to trust you. You're a good man. That's why I... <sighs> doesn't matter anymore. If you know who this kid is, if you know anything, you know why he can't be allowed to live. Bullshit. It's Rubik. He's the one that... Did somebody say my name? This is eerily similar to the final boss stage in uh, Silent Hill 1. Only it's, it's a lot brighter. Leslie, stop. You can find a bath from that. Hmm.
Well. Kill him? Maybe. Did he not have just absorbed his body anyway? Probably. I think he needs his brain juice. of my brain make my thinkles bigger <laughs> yummy right, there's a lot going on here oh good look at you so now we run Yep, now we're now we're dealing with superhero logic here. Watch out for his hands. Oh. Cool. Dodge left, wait for it to pass, keep running, hug the next right, finally left again until you climb into another building. Mm hmm Left, right, left. I like that mask. Yeah. It's it's like good good oh god. A good and creepy. Same as the left, dabbing his arms, hug the left and right and left and right. Anytime you see a red target on his hand, shoot it. When there's no red targets, aim at his head. So it just starts smashing the glass. Drop it! You're holding this! Right? Causing your cell phone to spin. This will go for some time as you shoot various hands each time you can grab you. Eventually the title takes damage enough to get you into the next stage. The next part is even more outrageous than the last. Okay, next stage? Maybe? Yep. Oh, I guess not. Nope, this is the next stage. Okay. Let me finish the rest of this paragraph out here for the, like Dean Winchester. The next part is even more outrageous than the last, as Sebastian, while impaled on a metal spike, manages to, get a rocket launcher. to fire a rocket launcher. 
Anyway, when the segment begins, don't immediately fire. Instead, let Rubik take a few steps. You have limited rockets here. You don't want to actually lose this. He'll be stunned, blast him in the head a few times, and you'll beat this stage. My squishy ball. Oh, brain, brain's open. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, so I missed the first time. I didn't realize what it meant by stun because I thought when he was freaking the fuck out. He, that's when I needed to hit him. Oh, he was going to stay like, in the air instead of drooping yeah, down. Yeah, instead of drooping down. Like, this, this, whoever did this fucking guide is an idiot. I don't know. Maybe it's, it's not as accurate as they want it, as it should be, but I don't, I'm not going to say bad on them. This game's a mess. <laughs> Next ridiculousness. Yep. You're still alive, by the way. Yeah. After all of this. Yep. Just brain damage. Sebastian is in the second game. So. Yeah. Okay. Checkpoint! Are we actually going to fight now? Looks like I've got my, my weapons back, so. Okay, I only get one shot there. Okay, cool. it all over again. Well, you checkpointed as you landing. Cool. Let's make sure to tag you. Which, by the way, you don't have your revolver. You just have a gun. Yeah, the handgun. I noticed that. Oh, that's it? Yeah. That's it. You beat the game. Wow, I hoarded all of that ammo for this fight here for you, no fucking reason. You played smart and got here with a lot of ammo. That's that's what you did. I was expecting more, and then as I was like scrolling down, it says, Once you shoot Ruvik, he will die. Several cutscenes will play. Congratulations, you beat the evil within. And I'm like, really? Wow. That's it? We did it, guys. Finally. We've defeated the evil within. But I think you're right. On my second playthrough with all my shit, I think I'll have a lot more fun playing the game. But some of these boss fights were just... They were hard for the sake of being hard. They weren't challenging. I created this world. You cannot keep me. I'm going to finish this. 
bust his brain. Leave that one. And those two. They're not going anywhere. No one can. Okay. Die in the dream world, die in real life. <laughs> Leslie! released him. No. Is there anyone else? Just give me some real fresh air. And then Isaac turns to his right and she goes, Wah! Well, one could guess that Ruvik is now in Leslie's body. Yeah. Or maybe we actually still aren't in the real world. I guess, but where would those people have come from? Ruvik created this world. <laughs> Why would he want to be in this world, too? I don't know, man. So, as a whole... For the parts that aren't difficult, I enjoyed playing the game. I think this game is, is like, a fucking train wreck, but fun. Yeah, it, it's got its, it's got its parts. 
I personally, I enjoy games where you and I are sitting here, like, discussing what upgrades we could use to better, like, get to the next part. Yeah. I enjoy that. Yeah. I think I should have dumped a lot more net now going all the way through it, and we can't get the points back. But I should have put everything in that fucking pistol. Yeah? Yeah, like, right out, out the gate, I should have just dumped everything in the pistol, then worked on, um, on the shotgun. I think you did great. Because uh, that sniper rifle carried your ass with that 100% crit. Yeah, true. And um, with the new game plus, you will have all of that shit at the level you stopped at. Right. So. And now I just need, I think, nine keys, because we got most of the most of the uh, the safes open. Yeah. You know what we could do, and this is this is a complete if if you want to. Do a uh, do a stream of another playthrough, and do like uh, trophy cleanup. Yeah, maybe down the line we could probably do that. Just do a. We still haven't finished. And giggles. We still haven't finished like Fallout New Vegas or Batman Arkham City. Right, we still need to do those too. When this is, this is a big question for you. When are we planning on moving from here? Because the internet is the problem. I don't really know just yet. I need to upgrade us, but um, because that that bundle, um, I can't get out of it. It's part of the whole deal with the apartment. Mm -hmm. So I can't get out of the bundle, but I can still upgrade, but it means I've got to pay Spectrum every month, like an extra 10 bucks or something. It's just a, a separate bill instead of paying it all at once. Shame. Yeah. What a mess. Gross. Yeah. But would it be worth it? I think it would be because now you get up to like a, a fucking gig of, uh, of internet instead of what we're paying for. But I read something the other day that um, because Spectrum does throttle and everything, mm -hmm. it doesn't really matter how high up you go, you're never getting what you're paying for. Yeah. So, like, I want to, just to see if it helps, but the the first stream that fucking crashes after we upgrade, I'm gonna be fucking pissed. I can't believe we did this in 31 days. Like, that was fucking perfect. <laughs> if this wasn't the finale, we would have gone into, into November no matter what. But since we knew, like, this was going to be the final fight, I don't feel bad making it an hour. I think most of our... Most of our, um... Most of our finales, finales are, are just, about an hour. Just, let's get it done. Yeah. So, we'll probably go back through it. All right, on I'm a second sitting, playthrough later. I'm sitting on some money right now. I need to get Scarlet and Violet pre-ordered. Or Scarlet. Which one did you get? I got Scarlet. I'll get Violet. Yeah. I always get whoever the person I'm with at the time. Like, Brandy had that. Uh, back in the day, it was it was my sister. Yeah. Would, would get one, I'd get the other. Yep. So I don't care which one you pick. I'll get the other one. Yeah. And then we'll have both. We did X and Y. I think we I did X and Y. y. Yeah. Or did I, I do X because I like Xerneas better? I think I got Y. You got Y. I remember coming home from the store that day and starting it up because yeah. I went to the bathroom and I was playing on the on the toilet. Yeah. And it got to the point where you're picking nicknames and I go, oh shit, you always name your character after your name, so you'll get the nickname either Big D or Little D. Yeah. And I was thinking about that while I was, I was like, oh, this is really funny. Little D all the way, baby. <laughs> um, shit. I don't have anything else to really say here, but we don't really know. Guardians. We're doing Guardians next. Yeah, Guardians, and it is a fucking blast. I love playing this. Also, game. Villager and Villager D. Oh, a uh, police officer, Villager B. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Good. Villager and Villager D were played by the same guy. Ooh, Italian cast. Oh shit. Yo, I can play Look, this also game. Also, male in, villager. I can play this game in different languages? Yeah. Yo. 
Here we go with the next like German. five playthroughs. We're gonna play in all 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 languages. <laughs> This was a fun game. Yeah. I'm glad. I'm glad you gave it a shot. It may have not been the best of times, but I'm, it was it was a worthwhile experience. It definitely wasn't the worst game I've ever played. I feel like I just had Agent gripes. Also Villager. Okay, Agent Also Villager. <laughs> I feel like this game. Debussy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Poor guy. Tan train. Tran. Damn it. Um, I feel like I'm. I was right in the men, in the mentality of you would dig some of the, the themes in it. Yeah. Versus, I know you wouldn't like the gameplay. Yeah. But other than you know some bullshit, you actually did really well in the survival horror game. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't. It really wasn't that bad. It just it was the boss fights. Mm -hmm. Um, they were literally just, haha! You don't have a rocket launcher. And it, that, that pisses me off, is like... Can I suggest I play through Resident Evil 4 and yeah. then give you a new game plus save and you play Resident Evil 4? I mean... Because I honestly think you would enjoy Resident Evil 4 because it is much goofier. Yeah. And there's so many, like... Kill kill birds. They they drop stuff. Almost every enemy drops money or ammo. There's a store where you can buy shit. It is it is a better version of this. Uh huh. Minus that one one mission where you've got to try and save that chick from being kidnapped. Oh, that one's rough. But you have a sniper rifle. Oh, then as we've seen. I, I, I'll, I, I can pass. Also, almost, unless it's like a special enemy, big air quotes, yeah. you could shoot an enemy in the knee and they fall over. Okay. Everything you were trying to do in this game, that game does. Okay. So really it just sounds like it's easier. It's, it's an easier version. Sort of. And that's um, why it's better, because it just makes makes sense. Downside. I know you're not a fan of the of the movement style. Yeah. Which I could I understand. It took me a while to get used to it, but when I was playing it, I was like, this is actually I can see the hype behind this. <sighs> Resident Evil 4 is good. And even if, uh, like, I think you would have a lot of fun with it, especially if I gave you a new game plus with infinite rocket launcher. Yeah. Oh, I can't. Oh, fun. Oh, also, you can buy rocket launchers from the store. Oh, okay. They're one time use, but they insta kill anything they hit, even bosses. Okay, cool. So even if I didn't give you a, uh, a new game plus, um, you can, oh. you could. Just buy one. It's ten thousand dollars, but you could buy one for a boss that you're having trouble with. Hmm. Well, we hope you guys enjoyed the uh, enjoyed the ride, um, and we'll see you tomorrow in Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, uh, one last happy Halloween! Oh wait, there we go. There's Here the machine us. gun. Rocket launcher. Oh. Okay. Uh, does that just do, do we start with that? And model viewer. Ooh. We beat the game on survival. 82 deaths. That's fair. That's. That's a excessive. Yeah. Save that game, baby. I, I'm I'm actually 100% down for just like even even if we don't stream it, just watching you play this again, yeah, like as a personal thing. Don't like that. Where were those? That's probably in the the DLC. Probably. I don't like that. Cool. So how do you access the DLC then? Uh. Go in a new game. I 
guess not. No, nope, not that. I thought it would bring up a menu. Interesting. Maybe in, uh... Nope, that's not it either. This just lets you play all the way through it again. Hey yo. Where was uh where what was the fight with Laura? <laughs> Not the first fight, it was the second fight. Uh just somewhere around in that one. That one, the craftsman's tools. Wow. So I don't even have to play the game all over again to get all the achievements either. I don't think so, no. Interesting. So we'll look into um, how to access the DLC, because I am interested in uh, in her part of the story. Although if we if we got it like that, we might do, we could stream clean up, because we yeah. can go and get all the, uh, the, the missing things we had. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, hey. Hmm. That's probably why her name is Julie. You were trying to. Oh. You were wondering why you were going to call him Ju uh, call her Julie or. That's definitely not why. Or Judy there's or there's no way I was going to remember her name. She goes by Kidman the entire game. How the fuck would I ever remember her name's actually Julie? Yeah. All right. Yeah, we're, we're done. done. We get off of here. Bye. We'll see you tomorrow.